On the previous video, we already learned how to create form using the field new component from the SetCN UI. If you take a look here on the form, we already using this field component, right? And we already also implement the React hook form library to working with form. And today, what we are going to learn is we are going to use the tan stack form. So which is this one right here, right? So again, I'm going to use the code from the previous video. I'm going to put the GitHub code on the description, just trying to clone that code. As you can see, this is the form one. This is the form two. If you take a look here on the localhost 3000, we have form one. This one right here, just really simple form that have a uh, one section form. As you can see here, it is really simple. All the validation is works perfectly. If you take a look on the form too, as you can see here, it's a little bit, um, not too much complex, but this is have two section, as you can see, account and personal info. If you take a look on the form too, as you can see here, it's basically field group wrapping as uh, some field set. In this case, have two field set. The first is this account and then second is the personal info, right? So today we are going to try to still using the same UI, but we are going to use the tan stack form, right? So let's go to the tan stack form. All right, so this is the tan stack form uh, website. So I'm going to select the latest version of React. And as you can see here, the comparison, you can just check that out. As you can see, all of this is check, right? That's great about the tan stack form. And let's take a look how we can install it. This one right here, you can use uh, npm, pmpm, and etc. whatever you want. I'm gonna use npm, just install it like this, npm install at then stack slash react form. And for the validation, I'm going to still using the Zot. So let's take a look on the package.json file. As you can see, I'm gonna still using this Zot version four, which is the latest version. And for the form library, we're gonna use the then stack slash react form. Great. So let's try to run it again. npm run dev like this, and then try to working with the form one. So the way the tan stack form works is pretty similar with the React hook form. So as you can see here, we still want to use this form schema because we're using Zot, right? And then for the schema, we still want to use this minimal value two. This is the error message. And for the bio, we are going to use minimal 10. This is the error message, right? The form schema is still the same. And also we create the type form value. This is still same. And then the difference is just this one right here. So I'm gonna create that on the top. So I'm gonna say cons of forms so equals to use form, right? The name is same, but for now the use form, it should be come from the tennis stack form, I believe. But as you can see, we not get the um, suggestion in here. I'm not sure. So let's just try to comment this one right and that on the top right here so let's try to do that again use form and then this one right here right we import that from the what is that what is the use for this one right here right we import that from the add 10 stacks less react form great so inside in here basically what we're gonna send is still the same right the syntax is really similar and we're gonna put an object and then here i'm gonna put the default values so default values. So I think we can just copy the default values from the React Hook form, just like this, it's same. And then next thing is I'm gonna put the on submit. So that's the difference. So on submit for, for the React Hook form is outside the use form, but on the 10 stack is inside the use form. So we can do um, on submit and set equals to, this is going to be async function. So I'm gonna do async, I grab the value, right? Like this. And then just trying to console log the value. For now, just like this is fine. Great, we done. And then now let's trying to put that form on the field. And of course, we don't need this on submit function. Just trying to remove that. Just try to remove the form handle submit right here. And then what we have to do is trying to run the arrow function in here. You can create separate function if it's fine, but I'm gonna put that in here. I'm gonna say E for the event. And what I'm gonna do is E dot prevent default. Here we go. And then also in here, what I'm gonna do is trying to run the form dot handle submit. Here we go. Just like that. And this basically will running the on submit inside a use form, right? And then the way we render the field is different. As you can see with React Hook form we're using controller. But now with 10 stack, we're not using controller. So what we have to do here, 
anyway what we have to do is i'm going to run the form right form come from the lab to come from the uh, variable here and then form dot field like this and just closing that tag and then inside the form dot field we give a name right the name first is going to be name right and also inside that same we're going to render a children so here i'm going to run a function so i'm going to do that inside a row function grab the field so equals to an arrow function like this and then here what i'm going to do let's try to return that field right so we can just copy and paste or just cut this one right here i'm going to copy that right and paste that inside a return just like this so for the validation for now we are going to trying to just um trying to put false value here right uh just i think i'm gonna comment that first for the all validation so for this input what we have to do is first i'm going to send the value so the value is it should become from the field right the field dot state dot value and also we need to send the on change event on change that equals to in here basically we need to run a error function i grab the event like that and in here what we need to run is basically the field dot handle change like that and we need to send the value e dot target dot value so that's it so now i'm going to just remove the controller here come from the react hook form and trying to run the form field inside the bio as well so here let's try to render that form dot field like this and then again inside that form field we need to send the name so the name for this one it should be bio it should be same with this controller right here the name and then what we have to send in here is our function right so let's try to run our function like that i'm going to grab the field and then what we have to return in here it's same basically with this field so let's try to just copy everything and then just paste that inside that return there we go now i'm going to grab all the field state dot invalid here i'm going to give a value false right and then just comment this error field like that and again on the text area we have to send the value and then on change so i'm going to copy from the name and then just paste that right here just like that and of course the controller we don't need that i'm going to remove it here we go so now let's take a look the result on the browser as you can see this is the result and if i oh it's not form 2 but form 1 basically this one right here right it's look uh, similar as you can see if i timing random things in here if i go to inspect and then console if i do save as you can see we have that value right that means the value it's stored on the library and we already uh, console log that and this is working so simple right but how about the validation anyway the validation is pretty uh, simple as well so let's try to do that inside the use form right here so what i'm going to do in here i'm going to send a props called validator and in here you can specify you validator is on on submit or on on change let me show you right here for example you're using on submit and you can put the form schema right here that you created right and as you can see because this is on submit the validation is just works when you submit the form so anyway this type right here you can putting that on the on submit if you want but as you can see here if i do value dot we already have that um suggestion but anyway you can always put it in here for example you can do like value the value should be have type this form value just like that so now let's try the validation here i'm going to go back to the form and then try to submit without without giving any value on the name and on the bio if i click save as you can see nothing values show on the terminal on the console the reason is because this is uh invalid right this is error basically so how we get the error value here you can go to the specific field and then try to console log the field you always can do that to see any value inside that so here i'm going to typing and as you can see we have everything in here so i'm going to access the state for example so let's try to access that state here we go as you can see we have the value and also we have the meta and also we have the error the it's touch and and etc so anyway 
I'm going to create variable here. I'm going to call this is invalid like this. Set equals to field state dot meta dot is start is true and the field dot state dot meta is valid is false, right? What we have to do now is I'm going to put that value inside this data invalid, right? Inside the data invalid, inside the area invalid as well. Let's try to do that. And now if I click save, uh, let me try that refresh again and then trying to save. As you can see now, the full name here, the field is have a red color, but we still not show any error here. The reason is because we not render the field error. So now let's try to render that. Just make sure we're using the is invalid value like this. And the error is should be come from the uh, field dot state dot meta dot error, I believe. This one right here. So now let's try. Here I'm going to click save without giving any value. And as you can see, we get the error message right here. Right? Just that's it for the validation. And let's try to implement that also on another field, right? This is pretty simple. Here I'm going to create that um, is invalid variable and trying to putting that on the data invalid, on the area invalid, and also on the error field. Here we go. And what we have to put in here, it's same basically, field.state.meta.errors. So I'm going to paste that right here. Here we go. Cool. So let's try. As you can see, we just get the value. Pretty cool. If, if, if I refresh that, okay. If I type in the full name, for example, John, and then the bio is empty, I'm going to click save. And as you can see, we have the error message. All right, that's what we want, right? It's working anyway. If I click reset, as you can see, it's still working. That's pretty nice. And as you can see, if the value is valid, we have the value on the console. That's it. Pretty simple. You can do that on on submit validation or you can do that as well on the on change for example here on the validator you can do on as you can see there's a lot of option for example you use on change and as you can see if i use on change right now every time i typing it should be show the error right but normally what i'm i'm gonna do is on submit validation that's it for the form one so let's move to the form two right you can just create with your own but it's pretty simple basically first just make sure the form schema is same right it's fine the form value is same and now let's try to remove the zot resolver the react hook form right here just trying to import the use form from the time stack here we go and i'm going to remove the form values and the resolver remove that what we have to put in here is the validator and the on submit i'm going to copy that and then paste that here right the validator is on submit and then this is the zot validation from schema variable and just console log the value that's it and of course we don't need this on submit just remove that here we go go back and then let's try to just copy this on submit and then paste that on the on submit form right here here we go so for the field, it should be same. We can just do that inside of field group right here. So we can render the field dot form basically. So we can do field dot, uh, not field, but form dot um, field like this, right? Just giving name in here. The name, it should be email for now, this email. And then now inside that, we can just return a function, right? Just return field. Wait, what, what I'm doing? field and then here i'm going to do error function just return that field right just copy everything here the field and then just paste that like that and now we can just create the is invalid uh, variable just copy that and then i'm going to paste that in here now we can just put that value on this data invalid on the area invalid and down here as well so for the error we can grab that for from the field dot state i believe and then meta and then errors here we go cool and on the input what we have to send is basically the value and the on change so i'm going to copy that go back here and then just paste it here we go so it's done basically so let's try to remove the controller 
and then let's try to move to another controller which is the password right now so we can do that the same thing you can do like field not field i always do field form dot field and then just giving name value what the name in here it should be password and then we have to render error function all right if you get the if you already know how to do that it's pretty simple right just follow all the syntax and you get you good to go basically field here you can just return that field right just copy all the field copy that paste that here create the is invalid variable and then paste that here just paste that down here here we go and uh, for the input we can just copy and paste from the top here copy that and then paste that down here here we go for the error we can just grab the errors value here paste that here that's it right you can just close the video i think it's fine everything is set up right now let's try here i'm gonna go back to the form 2 here we go let's try to click submit as you can see we have the error message pretty cool if i do the email here submit uh the email is not pretty works oh this one right here right it invalid email address that's cool so if you're asking me what is the better between the Tanstack form and the React Hook form, I'm going to go with the Tanstack form, of course, because as you can see, the supported framework is a lot of things in here, right? And also, there's a lot of features, again, right here, right? So I'm going to go with Tanstack form. But anyway, there's no right or wrong uh, if you select another form library, it's fine. As long as your application is works, I think it's fine. Just select whatever you want, right? So thank you so much for watching, guys. See you on the next video.